Harry here, this is Lord Potato, and this is What If Naruto Was Trained by Hiron, Part 3. Now, uh, no recap, because I did this like 10 days ago, but uh, 10 to 9, nine, 9 days ago. But other than that, let me begin into this What If. Also, I might be doing tomorrow, Part 9, the end of What If Naruto Was a Reincarnation of 3 Webtoons characters. But other than that... That will probably be the end of of that, like, uh, what if new what ifs might be coming out? I swear to God, I'm hoping not to hit 2.7k until, like, the, until, like, next week or two weeks later. But other than that, I have an idea to finish my 2.6k pretty easily. Um, 2.5k, uh, I know I have to do, uh, Captain Jack. Well, not Captain Jack. Mostly, what if not? Uh, what if Luffy was Captain Jack Sparrow's descendant? Where's the rum? The real question is, where's the bloody rum? Okay, where's the rum? But not the point. But other than that, let's begin into this what if because I have an, I have multiple ideas for this what if. I had them like six months ago, and I still have them. So let me begin into this what if. Okay. And I should shut the fuck up. But we go into, well, also before I go into this, go subscribe to my Sensei, Iconic Waters, and Obito Waters. Iconic is almost to 200, uh, when well, I Iconic, uh, Anime Sensei is almost to 200, even though he hasn't uploaded for two months. I just realized when I will check on his channel. Iconic is, I think, at, what's it called? Iconic is almost at 700. Please, for the love of God, just one more person subscribe to him, and he's already at 700. Yes, just, he's like, like at 699. Just go subscribe to him. Um, also, I don't know where Obito's at. I don't even think he has uploaded for, um, uh, go get Obito to 100. He hasn't uploaded for three months, but, eh, then again, I don't know. But other than that, let me go into this weather and shut the fuck up, but yeah. So, we go into Naruto. Naruto has met with, like, the other Forbidden Clan members, like, different other Forbidden, and they seem to all kind of, like, take a loyal, like, a loyal stance towards Naruto. Since Naruto might be one of the newest children of, well, Joshi, they still take, a, like, a loyal stance towards Naruto. They seem to be very loyal, even though Naruto just became, like, a Joshi, like, one of the Joshi sons. Uh, because there is two other Joshin kids, but they're only adopted also from they kind of got adopted the fact the same way that Naruto got adopted, but yeah, but this is where well the oldest is 18 well not 18 he's 20 years old older than both Naruto and even uh, what's it called white White is another child, but he's like the middle child so I mm, Actually, no, uh, what's it called? The oldest is actually 18, not 20. So, yeah. So, Silbin was actually 16 when he met uh, Naruto. Naruto was 10 at that time. But after the two year, yes, he's 18. So, Silbin is, well, the oldest is named Silbin uh, Joshin. So, yeah, his first name is Silbin. His last name is Joshin. Yeah, because he got the last name. Of course, we were, well... He is able to control minerals, exactly, if you want to think about it. He can turn the minerals to dust or, like, to kind of, like, like particle dust kind of, uh, like, sand release, but a little bit more, like, mostly kind of dust. It's not controlling sand. It's mostly controlling, controlling, like, the metal itself. So, of course, like, like, say, silver, gold, iron, uh, dark steel. He can control any of those uh, types of metal. So yeah, of course he mostly controls silver because he loves the color silver. Uh, well, yeah, silver. So yeah, not silver. Sir, Sir, silver, silver, silver. I think I'm saying it wrong. I'm right. I don't give a shit that much. But yeah, he just loves to control that metal. Even though gold is kind of his second favorite, silver is still his like kind of mostly favorite. But yeah. Like his first year. Of course, then in the middle child, who is actually 16 years old, kind of the middle child, and of course, his name is White. Yes, his first name is White. And of course, 
His last name is Joshi. Now, of course, if you want to think about it, how he looks like, I, oh, I forgot to mention how Sylvan looks like. Sylvan looks like, uh, oh. Sylvan looks like Virgil. If you don't know who Virgil is, he looks, uh, he's from Devil May Cry. You can go look at him, but yeah. He has kind of short, kind of white, uh, silver light hair. So yeah, that's how, why not Virgil, mostly Sylvan that I'm talking about. His eyes are actually kind of like silver. And of course, the white, well, he kind of dresses kind of mostly wearing kind of silver colors and kind of gold, but yeah. Like a gold and silver robe and all that, but yeah. Now, white, white looks like from uh, Tower of Gods. You know that one character named White that's just basically named White, but yeah, if you don't know, let me show you a picture. I'm talking about this guy from the Tower of God, but yeah, I, I don't know why, it just out of my head. But yeah, this guy is mostly his, like, second brother, but yeah. Mostly, kind of looks like that mostly, but yeah. Of course, that's how White looks like. And then next is Naruto, and Naruto is 12 years old, the youngest. Out of, well, all of the Joshiness. He has just kind of been adopted like two years ago. So, yeah. Of course, this is where, well, even though he's the youngest out of the other two Joshiness, he shouldn't be taken lightly. Because even though he has been trained for two years, his training and potential has actually increased. Because he has a lot. And I mean a lot of potential. Thanks to his lightning infinity. His Lightning Infinity is the most highest Lightning user out there in, well, the kind of, uh, well, the Underworld and also in the, well, Overworld. So, yeah, mostly Hell and, well, the Overworld, mostly the on top. So, yeah, mostly Human World, but, yeah, he has the highest, and I mean highest Lightning potential out there. His, the fact is that he can control Lightning so freely, well, even using hand signs. Of course, this is where, well, Naruto has that, and of course, this is where, well, he's the third child, but yeah. Of course, he met others that are kind of the same age as him in the different families, but yeah. Now, the different families do kind of have, well, their own cult, but also has their own children that they actually made. Unlike Joshin, Joshin just adopted three children from the cult, but yeah. This is where, well, Naruto is 12, and we go into Naruto. Naruto is just training in an outfield, mostly in a field that's in the Joshin, well, yeah, the Joshin kind of family place, but yeah, he's kind of just training in like a field. This is where, well, he pulls out a sword, kind of made out of lightning, because yeah, and this is where, well, he starts slashing the air. This is where multiple slashes of lightning kind of go straight towards a person. This person being white. White kind of summoned out something that he is special towards. Souls. He's able to kind of use souls. Unlike Silbin and uh, Naruto, Silbin can use silver like metal and other things. While white can use souls. And Naruto can use, well, a very powerful type of plasma. So yeah, lightning mostly, but yeah. This is where, well... He uses souls, but of course, this is where he summons out two souls that turns into swords and goes straight towards the lightning slashes. This is where they clash together, and of course, it just makes a kind of <clears throat> poof of power. This is where, well, they kind of just collide at each other and kind of manage to uh, resolve each other to kind of just expel them, but yeah, mostly the power attacks. And this is where Naruto rushes towards, well, white. This is where white makes a soul. Well, not makes a soul, kind of brings out a soul that he kind of used and turns it into a chain, going straight towards Naruto. This is where Naruto sees it, dodges it, and then dodges multiple other chains that came towards him. He keeps dodging, mostly like uh, managing to dodge the attacks. This is where, well, Naruto's eyes are actually a very powerful type of eyes. Even though they're not select like the Ninetos just yet, well, I mean, they are select like Naito's. They're select, but instead of being select, it's kind of like a lightning bolt instead of being select. But yeah, it's like select, but it looks like a lightning bolt mostly. And of course, his eye is like 
like a very bright kind of blue. But of course, it has these tomoys. Yes, Karama managed to give him a Keke Kenkai, which allows him to kind of have the Sharingan, but a different type of Sharingan entirely. It's mostly Karama giving him a Keke Kenkai. But yeah, this is where, well, Naruto dodges the attacks. And this is where Naruto sees the attacks coming slow to him, but he has to be faster. So, of course, this is where he's dodging them left, right, down, up. And this is where Naruto appears with his sword trying to stab White. This is where White appears a sword that's all white. And this is where he slashes at Naruto. Naruto manages to duck. And this is where Naruto slashes at White. White gets hit. And this is where White smiles. But this is where White poof away into nothing but souls. This is where Naruto whines his eyes. And this is where White smashes his leg behind Naruto, smashing him to the ground. This is where White says, give up, Naruto. Naruto says, <laughs> no. This is where Naruto transforms his body into lightning and then kind of appear right in front of, uh, well, White, swinging his lightning sword straight towards White. White blocks it with his soul sword, and this is where White is smiling and saying, hmm, well, we should probably get, uh, get going, Naruto. You know, since you did want to go to the human world, didn't you? This is where Naruto says, uh, yeah. This is where Naruto starts uh, kind of swinging his lightning sword and dissipates his lightning sword. And this is where, well, White says, <sighs> Yes, Naruto, you're going to the human world to kind of be a somewhat for sacrificial, but at the same time, it's unnecessary for you to sacrifice souls that much. Of course, this is where, well, White says, Then let's go, Naruto. Naruto smiles and, of course, follows White. Now, I should mention how big White is. So, um, well, White's height is, well. So, White's height it is, well. His height is actually 6'5. So, he's pretty, well, not 6'5. He is, uh, uh, what's it called? 6'4. Now, the oldest is actually 6'9. And Naruto is actually 6'1", for even, well not 6'1", he's 5'10", uh, but yeah, he, well not 5'10", I'm going to say 5'8", but yeah. This is where, well, the oldest is kind of just 6'9", but yeah. This is where Naruto is following uh, White and White 6. Okay, let's go Naruto. Naruto follows along White, and this is where both of them dissipates. One into Lightning and one into Souls. This is where they appear right in front of, well, Joshi. And Joshi is smiling at both of them and says, So, are you two going towards the human world? This is where White nodded and says, Yes, I'll be going along with Naruto. Naruto smiles brightly and says, Yep. Yeah, Father, we're definitely going. This is where Joshi smiles and says, Good. Then I hope you two, well, have a nice, I guess, time in the human world. Killing them and whatever. This is where, well, White says, come on, let's go, Naruto. Naruto nodded, and this is where Naruto and White disappears into a portal. This is where, well, someone in the corner. This is where, well, Joshi says, so you're not going along with them? <sighs> this person named Sylvan says, of course not. Even though I might be still 18 and a little bit younger like them, I'm not going. This is where, well, Joshi says, why not? They are your siblings. <sighs> hmm. Maybe. Maybe not. You know, I just do my artwork. This is where Joshi says, whatever. Whatever, indeed. This is where, well, Silver says, screw off. This is where, well, we go into Naruto and White go into the human world. And this is where, well, White and Naruto appear right in front of, well, the human world. This is where, well, this is where, well, we go into, well, Naruto and White just being in the human world. This is where they start walking along, and this is where, well, they found out they're kind of on an island. This is where Naruto is looking around and kind of scouting out the place. This is where White says, don't worry, Naruto. I go put us into a different island or different place entirely. Naruto says, but can I at least explore it at least? This is where, well, White says, fine, you can do it. I'll give you three days, okay? This is where Naruto smiles and says, really? Can I also bring carnage into this island or whatever? If there's humans, yes. Animals, 
I don't really want to hurt them that much, but meh. As you were, well, Naruto smiles and says, Good. Okay. Well, bye. White, White says, Yeah. Just come back here if there's any problem. As you were, Naruto nodded, and this is where Naruto kind of ran off. This is where White decides to kind of like, well, kind of start reading, because he is a person that reads kind of literature, but yeah. This is where, well, we go into Naruto kind of running around. This is where, well, Naruto, he kind of sees humans. He also sees kind of evil people, like mostly bandits. And this is where what Naruto saw kind of got him annoyed and reminded him of the Leaf Village. Two bandits abusing some, like, lady. Telling this lady to kind of take off her clothes and if she doesn't do it, they will kill her three children. But yeah, this is where the bandits are laughing. This is where Naruto appears. Kind of breathing out this kind of like white, uh, this white mist from his mouth. This is where he says, White death. This is where lightning start crackling. Mostly white lightning. And this is where he appears and then disappears. This is where he appeared next to the lady and says, Are you okay? Or not, are you okay? He just didn't really care about her much. This is where, well, the bandits has exploded into nothing but just, like, multiple, like, cuts. This is where, well, Naruto disappears after that, but yeah. This is where the lady was shocked, but this is where she saw her children dead and even her. She already died. Naruto killed them all because he didn't care. He kind of got reminded of that scene and he just killed him because, yeah, screw that. Naruto does not like humans that much or at all. The only people that he likes is, well, his family, his new family, and of course, this is where he likes well, the Joshiness. Well, not Joshiness, mostly the Joshin coat. He's actually hoping for one day to actually meet Hiran because, yeah, that was actually like his brother and all that. And of course, uh, not his brother, mostly father figure, but yeah. This is where, well, Naruto keeps looking around the kind of place. And, well, Naruto sees a bridge building uh, being kind of built. But what he sees is, well, a girl kind of picking, well, a girl and a guy kind of next to her kind of picking up these herbs. This is where Naruto walks out. Of course, he looks being friendly and all that. For being a kid and all that. And this is where Haku kind of throws a Senbon straight towards Naruto's like face. Out of like quick, uh, what's it called, reaction. And Senbon hits Naruto dead in the head. But it just passes through him because of his lightning infinity. Naruto has a tick mark. This is where Naruto says, I just came here to talk. But you bastard seems to really try to kill me. So instead of me trying to talk, I would just kill you. This is where, well, Haku and Haku gets ready. This is where Naruto pulls out his lightning sword and says, I will kill both of you, bastards. This is where, well, Haku and Hawking gets ready. This is where they use ice abilities to attack Naruto. But this is where Naruto dodges it and appears right in front of them with a lightning sword trying to kill them. This is where, well, we go into 30 minutes later. Both Haku and Hawking are actually dis uh, well, kind of dead. Naruto killed them both and ate their souls, but yeah. Naruto now has actually a weird kind of ability. He's able to now use ice somewhat. This is where Naruto is confused because he doesn't have any abilities to use ice. But this is where, well, the soul did look kind of different. When he ate Haku and Haku's soul, they looked to have a tension blue to it. Now he can actually use ice to it. This is where Naruto sends ice attacks towards a tree and it freeze pretty easily, but yeah. It seems both of the siblings managed to have a powerful ice ability, and Naruto is now able to use it. And so, where, well, we go into, well. This is where, well, Naruto is kind of just walking away. But this is where, well, we go into, well, a time skip of two days. Naruto is now just looking at the bridge. This is where, well. He sees Team 7, and of course, this Team 7 contains of Sasuke Uchiha, Sasuke Harno, and Sai. Now, Kakashi seems to be like a original canon, a little bit emo and depressed, but a lot emo than normal, but yeah. This is where, well, 
Sasuke is being complaining. Sasuke is just being a cocky little bastard. And then there's, well, Sai. Naruto doesn't care about the emotions because he can spill them all, even Sai's emotion. And this is where, well, he sees a bunch of bandits appear. Now this is where Naruto says, Hmm, I should probably kill the villagers. So that's what Naruto does. He makes two lightning clones telling him to go to kill the villagers behind him. This is where, well, the two lightning clones goes to do their kind of mission and kills every single last person in that village. And even outside the village, like kind of like villages that, well, houses that kind of doesn't live in the village. This is where, well, the villagers kill, even bandits are killed, and Nari and Tasumi are killed, and everyone around the whole island is killed. This is where, well, Naruto kind of hops down off his kind of place into the middle of the bandits versus, well, Team 7. And even the Tazan is there. And his kind of workers. Naruto smiles and says, you're all pathetic. Lightning style. Lightning strike. Uh, what's it called? Lightning strike spear. A spear of lightning strikes into the bandit side and exploded them and dis kind of just disintegrating all of them in an instant. So where Naruto grabs the lightning spear and throws it straight to Gato head and kill him in an instant. That's so where, well, Naruto looks behind him and sees Kakashi Hatake. Kakashi says, the... This is where, when uh, Kakashi sees this, he thinks of one person that can actually use lightning that's outside its control. Minotona Mikasa could have used lightning without any hand size, and Naruto did it without any hand size also. This is where, well, Minot uh, this is where, not Minato, this is where Kakashi says, uh, uh, Min Minato? And so where, well, both teams, well, Team 7 students have already been knocked out since of the lightning shockwave, but yeah. And Kakashi managed to resist it because he has a high infinity of lightning, but yeah. And so where Naruto turns around and sees, well, Kakashi. Well, Kakashi looks to him, it looks to be like his family member. But this is where Naruto says, whoever the hell you are, you should probably leave, Naruto said. And so where, well, Kakashi looks at, well... His team being all knocked out and seeing the person in front of him. Does it work? Well, okay, I'm getting kind of really tired, so I'm gonna try to end it off here. But let me go into the water. So, of course, this is where after Kakashi seeing this person looks to be Minato, Naruto says, Who? This is where Kakashi says, Never mind. I won't let you kill my client. But this is where Naruto appears, killing, uh, tossing an instant, killing all the other. Well, civilians, and this is where Naruto says, try to stop me, you bastard. This is where, well, Naruto for some reason hates, well, not some reason, hates all the leaf ninjas there. This is where Naruto dead grabs Sakurana before leaving from the neck and just crack her and kill her in an instant. This is where Kakashi screams out no, but he didn't have a shotgun gun out. This is where Naruto disappears, and this is where he dissipates into lightning. This is where, well... For some reason, uh, what's it called? Um, well, Kakashi thought that Naruto looked familiar. Well, other than that, I'm going to leave it off here for part three of what if Naruto was trained by Hiram. But other than that, have a nice potato day, potato night, potato seed, potato, potato, and potato. But yeah, bye.